early voting has started in Virginia. I know last weekend was a bit of a washout, but I wanted to just check and get a pulse. How many folks who are in the Zoom room right now have already voted early? Put it in the chat. We want to see how many folks have already gone out to the polls and cast their ballot. Awesome. Yeah, just put I voted or something like that on the in the chat. This is what we're trying to do. We want to get as many people voting early as possible in Virginia. It it was it has always been a strong point of the Democrats to get out the early vote. The Republicans are trying to challenge us though and we are not going to let them win. So because we kind of lost some time last week and because of the hurricane or the tropical storm, please, if you have any time this weekend to knock on doors, now is the time. We need to make sure voters are hearing from us and voters know it's already possible to vote in the election. And as I've mentioned before, once we get a voter to vote, they don't have to hear from us again. Let them know that many of our campaigns are then going back to the rolls and saying, okay, we don't need to knock your door again, or we don't need to send you more mail, or you don't need to get more phone calls. So it's a great incentive, especially for those folks who get a little testy once they've been knocked, their door has been knocked four or five times, you know, in a cycle. So we want to, we want to push that. I also wanted to share, well, how are we doing? For the most part, our campaigns are doing a fantastic job on the ground. Um, but there's some that have had a bit of a you know slow start, and we need to come and give them an extra boost. And you'll meet some of them today. So Karen Jenkins, who's running in Chesapeake City and Suffolk City, she has a fantastic campaign, but it's not a very strong place for volunteers. So if you're thinking about where can I make a difference on the doors, Karen Jenkins and Clint Jenkins are great choices. Nadarius, who you're going to meet, is also a campaign that we need to get more people out on those doors. As you know, we tend to get support coming in from Washington, D.C. and Maryland, and they want to go to some of those places a little bit closer to the border. So the rest of us, we need to push a little bit further south in Virginia to come and help out those campaigns. Um, the other two that are in that area that also could use some help are Kimberly Pope Adams. She's in Petersburg and Monty Mason. He's in Newport, Newport News City and York County. So if you're wondering where can I make the greatest difference, really those are the five races that you should be looking at right now in terms of giving you giving them your support. If you can't get there to knock doors, then help them phone bank. And if you can't help them phone bank, help them write postcards. And if you can't do that, send them money or do any of the above, right? Any way that you can help is really, really critical at this stage of the election. I'm gonna put into the chat a bunch of canvassing opportunities. So the first of course, is that we're going to be canvassing for Karen Jenkins this, this weekend in Chesapeake. Please, if you're in the area, even if it takes a little bit of time to drive down there, join us. I'm gonna be driving four hours from Northern Virginia. So please, this is something everyone can do. There's gonna be a really big launch at 2 p.m. on Saturday. I'm sure Karen will tell you more about that with some great speakers. So we would really love to have you there. If you can't make it all the way there though, there is a canvas that Nope Neighbors is organizing for Josh Thomas and Danica Rome in Manassas. 31st Street Swing Left is canvassing for Russet Perry in Loudoun County. Um, it might actually be Sterling for Russet, so a little bit closer. Um, and I'm gonna put in some additional opportunities. There's an opportunity to canvas and register voters for Clint Jenkins, October 7 through 9. It's being organized by our friends from in coming all the way from Massachusetts. So if they can come from Massachusetts, guys, we can get our butts down there to help out Clint and his campaign. And then last, we've got a canvas weekend for Monty Mason, the 14th and 15th of October, and Silver Spring Progressive Action is coming from Maryland to help out there. So you guys, we've got to step it up. Now is the time. The last thing we want to have is be coming up to election day and saying, gosh, I wish I had done a little bit more, right? This is not the year that we leave anything on the table. So I'm putting going to put those canvases in the chat. And I also want to let you know that Dennis, our fantastic web designer, has Cre created pages for canvassing opportunities, phone banking, and trainings on the website of the Virginia Grassroots Coalition. I'll put those links in as well. So if you were like, oh, I can't really remember where to find something, check out the website. It's a great location for 
all of the material. And if your if your information and event isn't on the website yet, send it to Dennis and I'll give you her email address. And finally, I just want to let everyone know while the elections are really critical, we are starting to think about our legislative priorities for next year. Got to keep the ball rolling. So I will give you more of an update next week about the legislative priorities of the Virginia Grassroots Coalition. And if that's something you want to get involved in legislative advocacy, there'll be opportunities coming up very soon. So it's a lot, Catherine. There's a lot of asks out there, but primarily it is we need to talk to voters and choose your favorite way to do that. Even if it's just texting your family, friends, and neighbors, we need to make sure that all Democrats are voting. The way we win is we turn out the votes.